Love will lead you safely home. Would you say uh, that the Course is, is saying that the romantic relationship is the sacred cow of the ego? Well, it, I would say that the Course starts off by saying that, that you have made special relationships and the Holy Spirit uses what you have made in the transformation to holiness. So in other words, holy relationship, I would say that where it's heading is the holy instant. You know, that's really where the holy relationship is heading. And I would say that romantic relationship, you know, it's, the spirit has to start where the mind believes it's at. It's not like, you know, it wouldn't be practical if it came in with the teaching and it was like, what? I don't relate to that at all. And, and there was no sense of, of, it would be almost like be, being told, here's the ladder back to heaven and the first five or six rungs are missing. You're supposed to like do a giant leap <laughs> up to the middle of the ladder because there's no other rungs. It's just not the way the Spirit works. So it's, it's typical that, that relationships are romantic or, or they're defined by roles like sibling roles or mother-daughter love or father-son or you know those kind of relationships are all part of what the world has, the ego has learned and then you have to go from that and progress higher and higher and higher. So I think that there have been a lot of people who st they start out in very romantic relationships and then the more collaborative and the more you might say higher they're lifted up in consciousness, then some of those romantic aspects just start to fall away. And that's how it works. It's like a retranslation. It's where nothing is like ripped away. And I happen to enjoy this article I saw on Yahoo about a week ago where it was this uh, this woman who had who had starred with Elvis Presley in like a 1957 uh, movie, what was her name? Was it Dolores. Dolores Hart? Dolores Hart. So, so she's she comes into the movie making business. She's kind of recruited at nine, I think like 19 or something like that, and she goes and she makes this movie with the King, and then she does some more movies, and then when she's like about 23, 24, she goes into the convent. And she spent the rest of her life, you know, in the convent. I th I thought that was adorable in the sense that now HBO's gone into her convent <laughs> and they <laughs> they're making her star again. Uh, uh, but but as a life of as a nun, a kind of a consecrated life that way. So that just shows you, you know, that's just a way of taking something that would be much more recognizable as kind of a romantic one, where she's she can reminisce now she's probably in her 70s, been a nun for all these decades, and it's like, oh yeah, I kissed Elvis. <laughs> I kissed the king. <laughs> you imagine this nun, oh, I kissed the king. I can tell you about that. <laughs> and what was the name of the new um, documentary? That, uh, that was something about, um, they used king in it, but it was something about God. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. God is bigger than Elvis. Yeah, the documentary. That was what HBO was doing. And they were, she said they came in, they were very respectful and so forth. So it's just about that, that transformation to a higher and higher love uh, that transcends the romantic. But the Course is a pathway for relationships and it's a pathway for using the symbols of the world. So it's not going to be effective like I said, if you start off and you lop off, you know, the, the symbols of the world, how are you supposed to climb? <laughs> you know, you've got to work it, as they say, to higher and higher states. Yeah. So that's what's beautiful about the Course. <laughs>